continue to rely on fossil fuels at the rate that we currently are. The climate crisis is progressing and we need to adapt to lessen the harms. To build a resilient Manitoba, we need to feed, shelter, and move ourselves without fossil fuels. What could that look like? Imagine a Manitoba where towns, cities, and neighborhoods are thriving. People who use wheelchairs are able to move around freely because accessibility is always prioritized. People walk, cycle, and move around in pleasant, quiet surroundings. People know each other and depend upon each other. All neighborhoods have the essentials nearby. There are green spaces everywhere and a thick, healthy tree canopy. Anything that isn't within walking distance can easily and conveniently be reached by shared or public transportation. Public transit is affordable for all, and buses run on a frequent schedule. Since people live close to where they work, there isn't much need for personal automobiles. The few vehicles that are on the road are electric. Buildings are efficient, and what little heating and cooling is required is provided with a variety of energy sources. Most buildings are interconnected on a shared district heating and cooling system. Entrepreneurs, small businesses, social enterprises and cooperatives form the backbone of a dynamic local economy. The system is diverse and self-reliant built on stability and not on perpetual growth. It uses local materials, capital and labor to provide meaningful employment, meet local needs and promote local trade. Everyone has access to a livable wage. There are gardens everywhere. People either grow their own food or buy food from nearby producers. Producers grow food in a system that rejuvenates depleted soils, promotes health, and creates opportunities for meaningful work. There is no waste. We use less and have sustainable ways to deal with our garbage. Much of this transformation has been achieved by addressing harmful systems and prioritizing reconciliation with Cree and Nishinaabe Dakota, Ojikri, Métis, Dene, and Inu peoples. Our democracy is strong. People participate in neighborhood governance and they have opportunities for their voices to be heard. Sounds like a beautiful dream, doesn't it? Many governments have chosen to not publicly discuss the urgency and scale of work required to adequately address the climate crisis. It is up to the community to think at this level and to show the way. We know this is possible. Join us for a series of videos, graphics and more as we imagine Manitoba's road to resilience. Let's make this vision a reality.